Hey guys, Vince Bruzio here from Previews World. We're still at San Diego, but check out how Brian Michael Bendis stopped on by and decided to say a few words about what's going on because he's a man with the plan. He's got the answers. He knows what's going on. And he's got Vince, the dirt. Vince is what I think I look like until I look in the mirror. Right. Like in my head, that's what I look like. And then, and then reality sets in. You didn't know we were in. twins, did you? Can you tell? That yeah, there's it's a, a before and after. And I don't know which there, is man. which. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on, man? You got... Uh, my, the Adam, yeah, right well, there. I'm here at my first convention in many years, and I've just spent the day, everyone being super, super nice, and I've been, I literally haven't done a convention since uh, Miles came out, and since um, I came on with the X-Men and Guardians of the Galaxy, so it's been a very cool day. Everyone's been really super, super awesome. And we're here, we are, we're talking about Battle of the Atom at the X-Men panel on Sunday. It's me and Jason Aaron, and Brian Wood, and Frank Cho, and Stuart Immerman, and Chris Pacello and Terry Dotson. It's a it's a real uh, real it's a hell of a list of guys. It's celebrating the 50th anniversary of X Men, nice. as the X Men from the future come back here and say X Men from the past, you've got to get out of here. House cleaning immediately. You've got to leave right now. <laughs> and uh, and it's a big giant. You know, it's really it's it's this amazing taco of X Men from the past, future, and present all smushed together, really celebrating the entire legacy of the X-Men franchise. And we thought it's perfect for the 50th anniversary. And uh, boy, wait till you see this artwork. Yeah? Wow. So you've yeah. seen things that we haven't no, seen. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No. Frank Cho's work, a Stuart. Uh, something's going on with Stuart Immerman, who I'm the biggest fan of in the world, but the last few issues have been such a step above where he's already been at. And it's just a pleasure to see. And I'm not exactly sure what is going on that it's getting this work out of him but I, I like I like I'm not sure what I'm doing on my end to help or hinder so I'm like it's uh, it's exciting oh, it yeah. sounds like you're reinventing the wheel so people are getting excited because they're doing something different I just you know I think he really likes the, the response that we've gotten on all new X-Men in particular has been so positive and so it was such a it was such a daring deal you know what I mean because it was one of those ideas when people heard about it they were like ah, don't do that and uh, and then it came out, and people saw how honest we were being. So yeah, so it's great. It's been a great. Almost, you know, it's so funny. I, I've said online a couple of times. I have some friends who were X-Men writers, and the, and the secret among the um, creative community is that the X-Men fans are the deepest, darkest hole of the internet. You cannot make them happy. It's impossible. They don't know what they want, but they know they but don't they, want that. They don't want that. Right? Yeah. So so. <laughs> But they've been so wonderful to us, and so uh, you know, I still I still get get it on the chin every once in a while. I go on I go on my Twitter, and 50 people want to know where the hell uh, Sage and Hellion, and you know, there's always some X Men that I'm ignoring and that's pissing you them off. You still found a way to screw it up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's your so, fault, man. No, but it's super it's super cool, and, and and I'm so glad to be part of it during the 50th anniversary, so we can uh, really celebrate it in style. In closing, before you get out of here. And the cons over with. What are you hoping to accomplish, man? Who are you hoping to? No, I mean, I mean, it's so funny. I, I haven't done a con in a few years. I have four little kids, so I've just been convention retired. But the uh, the convention was nice enough to invite me here, and it is like a great honor to be invited to be. One thing that you get to go to the show at all, but to be invited to be a guest of the show, it's such an honor. And uh, and my five year old, who thinks that the convention they have in the basement in Portland, you know, every, every, you know, the small conventions, local, are, is the coolest thing she's ever seen. She loves it. And then she would talk about how much she wanted to go to a show like that the same week that they invited me here. To And I go, you want to go to the biggest show in the whole world? Big one, right. You want me to blow the your mind? House, right? Yeah. And then, so she'll be here tomorrow. I'm literally here to show her all this cool stuff. And she's, her mind's going to be blown. So you get to play dad, man, at San Diego. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and none of my kids have ever been here. So uh, it's super cool. So so I'm going to be dad, get to sh show off. But it, it's such an honor. And, and you and I were talking off camera just a minute ago. I just uh, came from a signing that was so emotional. I, I, had, met, I had more than a, a few emotional run-ins with some fans who really, the work means a lot to them. And, the, you know, and it's, you know, fun it is, is to be online, you know, Twitter and all that. You know, it's a bunch of snarky stuff and it's fun. Right. But if people really want to share with you their deep, dark feelings about stuff, you know, hopeful feelings about stuff. Right. It, um, it's really something that I've already kind of, already kind of peaked because it's only Thursday and I've already had like some real moments here. So who knows what's coming up in the next few days. But 
but so just interact with fans and stuff it's really a special special thing it really is it's really amazing so you touch people man obviously you do that you, you know you I don't you know but you, I don't know it's hard it's hard to say out loud but it's, it's when someone comes up to you and they're really need to say something that's really special. And it's more than you ever thought you'd get when you're sitting alone in your room. Remember, most of the time, I'm in my basement all by myself staring at a wall. So this is much different than my normal <laughs> my normal situation. So. Well, keep on keeping on, brother. You got it, man. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. All right. We're going to talk to you hopefully later on, folks. Brian Michael Bendis. There's the man right there. Yay. Right? He's driving the train on the Marvel Universe. Keep the faith. Keep reading comics.